am Pahano Nation, and I have with me Mr. R. Figuerina. He's been entertaining us for two decades. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Time flies. I'll tell you, man. You know, I love coming out here. We just—it's been a long week. We started on Tuesday, and we've just been rocking and rolling. And I was excited to be out here. We played last night in Midland, and uh, you know, it's, it's always great to come out here. Your hospitality is, is top notch. Right? So I'll come out here, and everybody's it's just wonderful. Everybody down here. So I appreciate you guys for taking the time out for for an interview. And I know how busy you guys are also. So I know that you performed last night with DJ Castillo, right? Yeah, we did. Was that a last minute? Yeah, that was the last minute. You know, we were supposed to be with Jimmy and uh, the show's pictures. Yeah, he had a, uh, his, his wheel on his bus. It, it, something happened in fell apart, so he couldn't, he couldn't make it. But, uh, you know, all those guys are doing well. and uh, But it was a great show. You know, we, we, we packed up and loaded. The guys from AJ Castillo, the family, Arturo, all those cats are real cool with me. As a matter of fact, they helped me get my merchandise stuff going. So, really nice guys. Known those guys for years. So. So I know that you play the guitar, you've also played the sax. I try to play the guitar. You started off playing the drums, right? I, I did. I started playing the drums. And, you know, I got on the drum set that day and I just didn't do it. You know, I, 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 that's why I started. I started playing the drums. I bought a drum set, took it home, and just made a bunch of noise. But it was cool with my mom. She was just like, no, you go ahead and make sure. But I, I picked up the sax a few years ago, so I've been trying to teach myself. I've taught myself. And I've just picked up the guitar, so I'm learning the guitar. And uh, it's good, you know, I, I just have a good time with music. I enjoy it in my blood and it's in my family. So. And how old were you when you started? Um, singing? Singing? Yeah. Well, you know, I started, I probably started singing, man, uh, probably about a good 30 years ago, maybe. Oh. You know, so, but, you know, I was, of course, I was a group of people. I was living with those kids about 17 years. And then I did my own thing. I had my own band. Uh, I was a City View, a few other bands, but now I'm, sorry, I'm doing my own thing. Artigina and the Artigina band, and uh, you know we're traveling. We're doing good. You know we, we I have what we call uh, uh, blue collar Bahama music. You know where it, it, we, we cater to the working man, the blue collar. And we do our thing. You know we do we do the Hano, we do country, we do some old school country, we do the rock, we do just whatever, and just entertain everybody. Kind of keep it all mixed up. So you know we kind of got our own little style going. And, and we, is that is that what high heel sneakers? Is that like something? Is it sort of like country feel? Yeah, yeah. You know, high heel sneakers with a Tommy Tucker tune. I heard it and, and uh, we did it and, and it's, a, it's a fun tune. And now we just kind of, we mess with it. We throw it into the mix of a cumbia. So it's kind of the high heel sneakers and a cumbia. So we, you know, we just got, we have our music and, uh, and I got, matter of fact, I don't have a CD yet. I've been working on it for a while. But I've been super busy at home and, and uh, the family, my family life, work. And, but I do have it out and then I have a, uh, I do have nine songs, I think, right now on, on Reverb Nation, and, and hopefully it'll be done soon. Nice. Do you know when it'll be? I'm shooting for August. August? Okay. Yeah, so, right. so Reverb Nation, August. yeah, okay. iTunes, check it out. I got some stuff on there, and uh, I hope you enjoy my music. Oh, yeah. I wanted to ask you about the song, Esta Noche Quiero Llorar. Mm -hmm. Esta Noche Quiero Llorar. That song, I think, is because tonight the tribute this is going to be um, for young songs, you know, in memory of him. I think this song says a lot about what everyone's going through right now the last year. Right, right. And, um, I want, and this is a quote that I, I wrote down because this touched me when he said, I love this journey of life, I am living. Don't that it's just here to walk each other home. That's right. That's right. You know, and, and, you know, we think about life. We think about the time that we're here. Uh, you know, you know, our average life is what 70, 80 years, and, and that, which is a blink of an eye. You know, and back, I'll be 50 this month. I mean, in June, actually, I'll be 50 years old, and I look back and I'm like, wow, man. I think about 40. I'm like, what is that? 14 years ago. So we, you know, we have to be kind to each other and, and enjoy life and. Uh, you know, compliment each other and, and, uh, and you know, while, while we're here. So, but I appreciate that. And I, I'm going to do that song, especially, I'm going to do it, uh, uh, you know, just kind of like a, not, not like a pella style, but with just some background music. Uh, it'll be cool, it'll be cool. Yeah. And of course, uh, Happy Mother's Day to all the, to, to the ladies out there, to their moms. Um, and we'd like to do something special for them tonight also. Well, midnight, so. We have, you have so many years with people being there, now you're starting on your own, I look forward to you, I love your CD, um, big, big fan of yours, so, along with the whole thing, I appreciate you being here with me right now, and um, working on your merchandise, and then you have a website, 
I do, I do. I don't have much of that song as yet. Um, but you can purchase my music through iTunes or Reverb Nation. Um, places I'm playing. I'm around this area. Uh, or if you're down in Texas, sometimes you check us out. Uh, Arthur Dina. Facebook, also Arthur Dina. Arthur Dina with a G. I can't find you in that music. Uh, and a lot, and real quick, just to, just to clear some stuff up real quick. A lot of people are like, why is it a G? And I'm like, it's supposed to be with a J. That's the, that's the, the traditional way of saying the idiot. But somewhere along the line, my dad was born in 1919. And somewhere along that, that time, they must have, you know, kind of, on his birth certificate, they must have thought it was a J or a G. So that's, that's how it started out. I'm assuming that's how it started out. That's sort of like what happened to my family. Flores, my grandfather, sort of like Flores, he was born in Yeah, I look forward to having a great time tonight. Me and the guys, uh, the guys, uh, you know, we, we, we came from the middle of last night from Austin, Austin, Texas, and uh, that's what we call home now. And uh, you know, we're just having a good time with the music and having a great time with the fans. And just kind of keeping putting stuff out there. And I think the number one thing that keeps us going is not necessarily the music and how good we play or whatever else, you know, but it's just about the loyalty to the fans and just being humble and just being ourselves. You know, you know, and that's, that's just the way we are. You know, we hang out and just have a good time. And never thinking that we're better than anybody else. You know, I will be here signing and, and selling merchandise and hanging out, and, you know, and just talking to everybody because you guys are the ones that make this possible for us to, to be able to accomplish things and be able to live our dreams. We appreciate it. Well, I thank you for being so humble and taking the time out. And I know you do some skateboarding. I, What's I, all that about? You know, I was I started skateboarding back in the back back in the seventies when it first wow, hit. Yeah, so yeah. and I and I you know it's making this big this trend now. So I. I, I bought me a board and I told my wife and I said, yeah, I'm going to get back in there. And I do a lot for cardio now. I'm not, I mean, I'm not a great skateboarder. I do all the work. Because I know my limits, trust me. Uh, you know, I, I work, uh, I do have a regular job where I need my hands a lot and I don't want to, you know, jeopardize that. But, but uh, yeah, it's just fun for me. And of course, uh, you know, I'm a big hello to my wife. She's not with me tonight. But she's always, she's always missed and she's a, she's a you know, she's my, my, my better half and my big part of what I do in the business because sometimes if you don't have two people going in the same direction, it's very, very hard, especially in this business. Right. So. And that's a lot of followers that they like the fact that you are family and you are, um, your faith, you're very strong in your faith. I am, and I'm very strong in my faith in God, and I, and I pray that, you know, that every time we head off and, 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 and to some kids and we're really going and before we eat, before we go on stage, and, and that's just part of all that, you know, a lot of people, you know, people agree with us, some people don't, but that's just the fact that we can be our, and uh, we can continue that tradition. Thank you, Eric, and thank you so much for giving me your time, and uh, take that up there. We're going to rock it out, so once again, check out uh, stuff on iTunes. Reverb Nation, Facebook, uh, look us at artpikirina.com. And uh, we'll be coming to your town. Like I said, hopefully you make it out tonight. And, and if you didn't, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Once again, DJ Peaches signing off, you guys. And much thanks to Art. And we'll talk to you guys soon.